Hello everybody, meteorologist Hutch Johnson with a fast cast of what you need to know as we're watching a storm system that will potentially impact the area Tuesday into Wednesday, a winter storm watch already issued by the National Weather Service office. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks everybody for watching Hutch's weather. Thanks for your trust. Let's talk about this system. <clears throat> couple of things to know right off the start. The track of the system looking to be more apparent that it's going to make a way through the northern plains impacting North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota uh, in particular. And the fact that more models are agreeing, we'll go over tonight in detail of model comparison, but for now I want to show you what the headlines are so you can know before all the madness ensues and continues throughout our day. Here's the low pressure center track. It's expected to move to the northeast, the storm movement. It will have areas of heavy snow this particular model, the American model. Now, there'll be areas of rain, some narrow band icing, and gusts over 40 miles per hour, meaning visibility will be impacted, travel will be impacted, new livestock could be impacted, winds will be southerly ahead of the storm, that'll warm things up, bring the moisture into the area, and then lop it over the top of the cold air in place, and that is a perfect ingredient for some snowfall potential. Now, what are we talking about? This particular look is a comparison of two models models forecast snowfall potential. Do not pay too much attention to these numbers. And I've left these small for now for you, uh, really, because these are just too much to really uh, pay too much attention to. I want to point out, though, that this model is saying that there could be some places with 20 or more inches of snow. These models, the American model, the European model, when we're this far out, number one, they tend to overblow the aerial coverage of the heavy band of snow. Sometimes this model overdoes the heavy band of snow, but it does give us an idea or a range. Now, this shows the track through eastern South Dakota, southeastern North Dakota, and western Minnesota, right through the uh, Iron Range as well. Most of Minnesota getting measurable snowfall, much of North and South Dakota getting measurable snowfall. The European model here, same thing. Tuesday and Wednesday timeline looks to be similar. By the time we get to midnight on Wednesday night or Thursday morning at midnight, if you will, we'll have snowfall potential over several inches across the Dakotas and particularly Minnesota and northern South Dakota and the European model. So let's take a closer look at a couple of these just to highlight the details. This is a model, but it's averaging several different model runs and it's giving us this consensus look. Uh, so it's what we would call an ensemble uh, collective average amount. One to five inches as a rule in the areas you see in blue. One to five inches. There'll be a few places with more or less. And again, these models tend to overblow the aerial coverage and essentially how much these uh, storm systems can produce. But this model, this average of models producing a three to nine plus window of snow across our core area, eastern North Dakota, northern Minnesota, as we go through. And a chance does exist for a foot or more of snow with this Colorado low making its way through. So the time to plan is now. I will have more details on this. This is a closer look at the European model. It is a little bit more reserved compared to the American model with its snowfall amounts and potential. But again, very, very similar to what we've been so talking about so far. Three to nine inches in the areas of pink with a chance for a foot or more of snow in a few places and widespread one to five inches of snow in the areas of blue taking place there. Here's what you need to know. A lot of plans should be flexible at this point. A lot can change. We could see some areas getting very little. Other areas will be impacted in all likelihood with this. There'll be cancellations. There'll be delays possibly to events air travel and road travel, you should keep your flexible plans if you can. Power disruption can't be ruled out with wet snow livestock. And you know what, with this heavy wet snow, it can bring snow load problems to some areas. The good news is not a lot of us have a ton of snow left on our roofs, so we don't have load adding on top of load. But for some outbuildings, this may indeed be an issue. I'll keep you updated. That's a quick look right now. You can always get the latest road conditions and weather information on hutchesweather.com. Follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and again, tune in a little later today for a walkthrough of these models coming up here.